All right, going to do another video once again showing that the Talmudic uh, Jewish lobby has proven itself to be an enemy of freedom of speech and that they seem to just not understand the fact that speech, uh, free speech is not just speech that they like and that essentially censorship of speech they don't like is no different than what the Nazis would have done to their opponents. And in this case, you have the Talmudic Jewish lobby attempting to censor a film on Netflix. Uh, I'll just read the article essentially. Uh, and by the way too, I'm not saying I'm pro-Palestinian by any long shot, but free speech is free speech even for those you don't like. That's part of living in a free society. It's the Nazis and the fascists who would censor a speech they don't like. But it says here on Al Jazeera, Nakba film streams on Netflix despite Israeli threats. Farha depicts the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians in 1948 when at least 750,000 were forced from their homes. Uh, so essentially what's going on is that this film was on Netflix, you know, a uh, company based in America, which has, you know, free speech, and the Israeli uh, lobby was trying to threaten them to take it down because they don't like what's being said in the film, essentially. You know, censorship of speech, no different than what the Nazis would have done to their opponents. Funny, funny how they just don't seem to get that. They don't seem to understand that the Talmudic Jewish lobby has continually demonstrated they just don't seem to get the fact that free speech is part of living in a free society. It's not just speech you agree with. And in fact, controlling speech like that is authoritarian, no different than Nazism. But it says here, a Jordanian film depicting the ethnic cleansing of Palestine during the 1948 Nakba, when Zionist forces declared that the creation of the State of Israel uh, has begun air basically has begun airing on Netflix despite attacks from Israeli politicians. Farha is directed by the Jordanian filmmaker Darren J. Salem and is a, a rare portrayal on a Western entertainment platform of the events of the Nakba, uh, when Zionist military forces expelled at least 750,000 Palestinians from their homes and lands and captured 78% of historic Palestine. Netflix has uh, stuck by its decision to carry the, uh, the film on its streaming platform, which uh, where it became widely available to view on Thursday. And you know, good for them. You know, I have my issues with Netflix, but good for them. These Talmudic Jews seem to forget the fact that just because they don't have free speech in their country doesn't mean that they gotta, you know, enforce that standard on a American company. Free speech is, again, it's not just speech you agree with. In fact, the reason why free speech is important is because, is because it protects speech you don't like. Uh, but it says here, this is uh, in the article, this is despite an Israeli campaign to stop it from appearing on Netflix with Avigdor Lieberman, a right winger who is uh, the outgoing Israeli finance minister, suggested that state funding should be withdrawn from a theater in Jaffa that plans to show the film. Jaffa, or Jaffa, as it is better known in Arabic, was one of the biggest cities in historic Palestine until most of its 120,000 residents were expelled during the Nakba, or quote-unquote catastrophe in Arabic. A third of the city remains Palestinian today. Academics and human rights organizations have extensively documented the events of the Nakba and the atrocities committed against Palestinians, and the United Nations General Assembly adopted a resolution on Wednesday to officially recognize Nakba Day. Now again, I'm not saying that I'm pro-Palestinian, but as I've said before, free speech is not just for those you like. And that's not free speech at all. If, you, if it's just speech that you agree with, that's not freedom of speech in any sense of the word. That's Nazism, when you just don't like, when you try to go after speech like this. Uh, it says, despite that, uh, Israel's culture minister, Chili uh, Tropper, said Farah showed, quote, lies and libels, unquote, and plans by, and the plans by Al Saria and the, and uh, Al Saria, the Jaffa theater that plans to screen it, is a quote unquote disgrace. I, he says, I call, I call on the theater's management to change their decision to screen the film, the minister added. Salam and the film's producers, Dima Azar and Aya Jardina, hope I'm saying that right released a statement following the minister's attack on their film, criticizing what they called accusations to discredit Farha. And I would also add further, you know, essentially employing Nazi tactics to censor, you know, expression they don't like. That's the thing. The Talmudic Jewish lobby has continually, time and time again, proven themselves to be a direct enemy of freedom of speech. You know, they, they claim that, oh, you know, essentially, they'll say things like Israel is a democracy. Okay, well, part of living in what you think a democracy is, is free speech not censoring those you don't like, but it seems to go over their head, which is not surprising since the Talmudic Jewish lobby of Jesus Christ Day uh, tried to censor his speech as well. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that uh, Judaism is a false religion, plain and simple, and if someone is offended by that, not my problem. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.